Japan launched its biggest warship since World War II, the Izumo, last week. They labeled it a destroyer vehicle, though international reports say it instead has the characteristics of an aircraft carrier. A Xinhua correspondent went on board the ship to see if it was really like most destroyer vehicles. The answer? The correspondent says no. Measuring 248 meters in length and 38 meters in width, the Izumo weighs 25,000 tons. It's the same size as a typical carrier and more than twice that of a missile destroyer. Izumo allows five helicopters to take off and land simultaneously. It can even load MV-22 Osprey transport aircraft to be purchased by the ground self-defense force. In contrast, a destroyer usually allows two helicopters to take off at most. Izumo's long deck is also suitable for launching planes with short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities, such as the Lockheed Martin F-35 fighter jets Japan is planning to buy from the U.S. Many Western media have pointed out that the Izumo resembles U.S. Marine Corps' amphibious assault carriers in design and size. But Japan insists the asset is designated as a helicopter destroyer, a label that allows Tokyo to dodge a constitutional ban on processing aircraft carriers. But this is not Japan's first Izumo. The ship is named after a Japanese cruiser during Japan's invasion of China last century. Its name evokes painful memories for Chinese people and indicates an attempt to resurrect Japan's militaristic past. Since Abe took office in 2012, the Prime Minister has attempted to bolster Japan's military might in a series of moves. He has lifted bans on arms exports, reinterpreted the pacifist constitution to allow its self-defense forces to exercise right to collective self-defense, and boosted the defense budget. Analysts say all these are risks that might push the country towards militarism again and escalate unrest in the region. Some even note that Abe should keep in mind the fate of the previous Izumo, which was eventually destroyed by U.S. forces on July 24, 1945, and buried for good with Japanese militarism.